plastic surgery. All right, it's important to understand the anatomy of the face, the vascular theory here. So we know the complication, vascularity, ischemia, necrosis, blindness. How these are avoided here? Simple as that, understanding is the key element to do it. I have a six point of the rules when it comes to avoiding blindness for the dermophilers. When I'm injecting here, this H-A-S-H here, in the nose example, of course I have a digital compression of this nasal dorsal artery, which maybe runs here or here or here. So there's maybe only one specific arteries which can go to eye here, and the ophthalmic artery, like some of the retrograde here. I don't know how it is really gonna happen other people, like, so like a, maybe they just intra artery injection with the, I don't know what's it kind of like whatever here, whoever happened this thing here. They put in two big bubbles indeed here, probably most of them here in Clapella area, here. or even here in Browns. Whole this area is dangerous. There's also arteries, the sycomatic artery with here and infraorbit artery, which both go to ophthalmic artery here. Recognize this both arteries here. And here are this. Here are the foramen of this thing here. This is a foramen here, and there's other foramen here. And you have to be important, you don't inject in here, in these arteries, directly here. Neither these arteries, they're not the infraorbital. Then the supraorbital arteries here, supratrochlear artery here, avoid injecting also, of course, in inside arteries, because in a retrograde, it doesn't take that high volume here. It's maybe 0.1 milliliter, I mean 0.01 milliliter here, or what I mean 10 microliter is enough to get enough flow to getting an optimal artery and plucking, occluding here. So nobody wants to see our AO, central retinal artery occlusion, I guess, and it's not cerebral, I guess, and I don't know, it maybe take only a few seconds that the vision will be blocked already here. I'm not sure about that thing, I, I don't know, maybe take 10, 20, well, I know the time frame, 60 to 90 minutes, when they, if it's fully occluded, there's no flow of the blood here. It could be blindness in the specific eye here. And to be honest, usually it's only one, one side here. Because if I check here, and I'll me already this here, it's impossible to the other side here. So usually it's only one eye here. It's like blindness, luckily blind here. But if you have a one eye, you cannot be luckily blind here. So it's kind of like unlikelihood, like one in thousands of likelihood that you will get both eyes the same thing is because the optimal arteries are totally different for both sides here. So this optimal artery here, there is no interconnection whatsoever here, guys, in here, of the neither side here. And if this guy is blocked in the optimal artery, don't interconnect this one. If you check here, the both arteries, your both side, of course, in that case, it can happen. But if you have only one side, so therefore the likelihood is maybe one in hundred or less here. You are able at the same time both eyes getting blindness. It's very unlikely who did teacher. It's even more likely that I will get blindness first place because I have seven safety measurements avoiding blindness of dermal fillers. Here are the those input aspects here. Using the compression Googles and digital compression is, is one thing here. Second thing is, of course, understanding of the physiology of the arteries, location. Third, of course, is the low volume injection here. Fourth is very high viscosity of the here the, the itself. It's very hard to get this material what I use. It's so high well high like viscous. It's like if, if I put high pressure on this it's the it's kind of like it's easier to flow here guys and you know this important aspect here is one like it here is it it's hard to like have to be retrograde that thing and kind of like, like have a big opening here guys okay? so unless it's fully the second thing is, is, is the cannula is so big, you know, like if you have 23 G here, it's very difficult to get inside artery, inside that kind of a G, especially small arteries, like Doros and nasal artery. It's so difficult to get the micro kind of like this, the, the inside that here. And it, I will probably like feel pain here if, if when I start injecting, because the viscous is so slow, the flow is like this. So I think it's almost impossible for me to get in blind these fillers and here's the number one reason why and the reason is because there are so many factors here what shows it's not possible here remember i don't know but this looks like it's more improbable it's very unlikely that i were able to 
even do it, but we were trying to do it here. But when I definitely don't try to do it, it's very, very impossible almost here. So I should not be here, okay? So like it's it's scary, but it's very likelihood here, okay? So yeah. When I look at all the probabilities to get implied, German fielders. Why? Here's the reason here, because it's difficult to do so here. It's difficult to really here do it here. The matter is so viscous that in order to get retrograde, it takes maybe a minute here, okay, and the same pressure when I'm looking for it. The material comes like this one millimeter per second is the, the speed of this material when it comes out of the scanner. It's going very slowly, very slowly. And, and that's give a lot of time to feel any pain if, if, if it will be injected inside the artery here, okay, and because I will feel it's only one millimeter, okay, it will take a long time this go against the, the central and this artery pressure okay so you need more more even more pressure okay so it's easier this matter and not go to retrograde here it's much more easy to just flow other side here other direction of the and here and that's the kind of thing is like i don't understand it, how people can get flying and maybe they put huge pressure here and put it very non viscous matter because when i put very high viscous matter it's like almost like this here maybe the speed is like this here it's just like tsh, tsh. i can understand that case you know yeah and what other aspect there is? I have hearing dust here. Guys. Am I able to inject in here? Well, I have not much understanding how to do it here. I can inject in here, like injecting directly the artery. So what I feel here is there's a two arteries here. And looking for the artery, understanding here, because let's put as low as possible here. Feeling the pulse. And the one which have a higher pulse is the carotid artery here. So there's a carotid artery here which branches off the external and internal arteries. This external internal carotid arteries an important thing here. I will inject in that side here which has been maybe the occlusion if ophthalmic arteries are included. It's the worst kind of thing, ophthalmic occlusion, because you can not only lose the eyesight here, but you can also have lose necrosis whole this area here because it is supplied by there. It's whole orbital area here, and therefore the one side hemisphere orbital. Whole this area will be also ischemia here, okay, so to come eventually, unless this other occlusion is stopped here. It's kind of thing, so you lose that specific area, the blood flow. So example, ophthalmic artery occlusion will lose this side here. Have except the occlusion, it, this like side will be lose whole this brain area here, there's okay, so a whole this side, if there will be this this side, example, occlusion, this carotid artery here. It will be lose all which game, you, know, you will die here, okay, so, you know, in probably in that case. And it's no surprise, if you're looking for you losing, example, heart will stop pulling here, whole your body will be ischemia. That's a problem with, with like, heart arrest here, so, because whole body will die here. And, you know, it's not really 